up y'all this is your boy jack back again with another video today i'm going to be doing a review of the raycon e25 earphones just like in my other reviews i'm gonna hit the specs real quick and then go over my honest opinions and then i'm gonna get you guys up out of here uh <clears throat> just a quick little rundown they claim to have uh six hours of charge uh per earbud and over 24 hours of battery life in the case itself they have uh, the micro USB. Um, they also, they do not have any type of uh, wireless charging or anything like that. And then without further ado, uh, let's uh, get into my honest opinion. Um, they have good bass. Highs are clear, but nothing to write home about. So uh, <clears throat> again, they're very comfortable. Just like I said in the, um, in the unboxing when I tried them on, they, they felt like an all day wear type of earphone and these were confirmed they are they're very very small if you can see the case itself the case and the earbuds are very small so if you have smaller ear canals or anything like that and you're looking for something a little bit smaller these may be a uh you know maybe an option for you uh the connection was very fast very easy worked both on ios and uh android with no issues they have a strong magnet in inside here so they're not gonna fall out or anything like that so you don't have to worry about that the the case itself it's very very pocketable you know saying it's very very small very sleek i definitely like the design of it and it has the little voice prompts and things like that when you're utilized when it cuts when it cuts on and then when you utilize some of the other future features um, like I said, not really feeling a micro USB, especially for the price. And, uh, they're just okay. <laughs> you know, I'm, I mean, you know, shout out to, uh, Ray J and, you know, the movement and all that other stuff. It's kind of hard for me to, you know, if I'm going to be honest, it's kind of hard for me to recommend it, you know, say, because there's other earphones at the, that are cheaper than this, that are just a better value. Um, the Field T1X comes to mind. They're 50 bucks. The Earfun Freeze, they're 50 bucks. And then the Impal M30 Pluses, they're 45 bucks. So it's kind of hard for me to recommend these, you know. And again, you know, <clears throat> wasn't what I was expecting or anything like that, especially for the price. I was expecting a little bit something more premium. But um, as far as the sound quality was, was concerned, again, like I said, it wasn't nothing to write home about. And the mic quality when taking phone calls, eh, it was just okay. I mean, it it reminded me of a pair that could have been 50 or 60 bucks. You know, maybe if they were a little bit cheaper, I could probably recommend them. But, you know, hovering, you know, anything above, you know, saying above that $69, $79 price point, it, it's hard for me to recommend. So again, don't want to take too much of you guys' time, get you guys up out of here. You guys take care of each other. Peace.